One year ago today, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, a decision that stripped away the constitutional right to abortions. The ruling led many states to implement highly restrictive abortion laws, in some cases almost immediately. In a CBS News poll out this week, more than half of all women, 53 percent, say being pregnant is more dangerous from a health perspective than it was a year ago. Caitlin Huey Burns traveled to Mississippi, a state where nearly all abortions are banned, to see how the new restrictions are having an impact. Pregnancy is like running a marathon, and then delivering the baby is like the sprint at the end. That final sprint is something Dr. Rachel Morris knows well. A Jackson-based OBGYN, Morris is no stranger to maternal emergencies, but she's concerned about worsening trends in her state. We started noticing increasing trends of maternal mortality and morbidity. How much of this is preventable? In the state of Mississippi, almost 90 percent of the deaths that we encountered from 2017 to 2019, so pre-COVID, were considered preventable. 90%. Almost 90%. It's not just the deaths that we are concerned about, it's the near misses that cause significant impact. So last year, Morris launched a program called STORK at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, training emergency workers to deliver babies. So what we have designed is a pretty extensive crash course in obstetrics to teach someone how to deliver a baby, how to recover a mother, how to care for the newborn, how to identify some of the most critical problems that we identify on a daily basis. It's an urgent need. In the last year, the only NICU in the Mississippi Delta, one of the poorest regions of the country, closed. At least three other labor and delivery units across the state have shuttered. That's what you want to see is a nice delivery. We have rural hospitals with obstetric closures and facilities that can't support uh, labor and delivery and the staffing that it requires. So in a long, skinny state, now we're seeing you know, these maternity care deserts that exist. It's got to be so scary for these patients. Mississippi already had the highest rate of infant mortality nationwide, and the maternal death rate is worsening, particularly for black mothers. It's what a public health expert was warning about when we visited last year, as the state prepared to ban abortion access. Is the state prepared no. for the consequences? No. No, it's not prepared. In April, Republican Governor Tate Reeves signed a series of bills he says create a culture of life, including tax credits for adoption and an expansion of Medicaid coverage for up to one year postpartum. But critics say the bills aren't keeping up with the challenges, leaving other organizations to fill the need. These are the diapers that we give out for the families. The Diaper Bank of the Delta services nearly 300 families in the state and has seen an increase in donations and demand. A lot of families have signed up for more diapers. So diapers, formula, yes, anything that they need, they can come here and get it from you. Yes, ma'am. And we have some families that'll come in and say they don't have things like water, important things at home. We could get them cases of water, and we, right now we're giving out food. If they come in with any type of situation, we, we try to find a resource to help them. So people are coming to you not just for diapers and supplies. A helping hand and a best friend. A helping hand for a state in need. And as for Dr. Morris, she says her program has trained over 400 people and has a six month long wait list. You're saving lives. That's why I went into medicine was to make a difference. So to hear that we've made one, saved one mother or saved one newborn or made the outcome better. Yeah, there's nothing like it. For CBS Saturday Morning, Caitlin Huey Burns, Jackson, Mississippi.